Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 12, and this is war number 4, and we're going up against an alliance called Omega Fight. Now, one thing that I loved about this war is that it occurs when AQ is down. So as you just saw, I was able to bring in Corvus. When I bring in Corvus for Alliance War, things just go so much nicer. So anyway, I take Path 1 in uh, Section 1. You see they didn't place a defender there. Uh, sometimes that happens. And the first fight is going to be Captain America Infinity War. And this is a starburst path, so I always use Gladiator Hulk. Now, so far, I have not met any opponent that Gladiator Hulk cannot defeat on this path. Not saying that I won't, but so far I have not. Uh, one reason for that is it's Section 1. So most of our opponents are going to keep their really tough defenders for the more difficult paths. So uh, Gladiator Hulk is more than enough. His face me is what makes him king for this path because face me is activated on Starburst. And that gives him a lot more power and it allows him to heal up most of the damage that he receives while it's active. All right, so we cleared our path there. And by the time I came back to check, they had already cleared their path and cleared that boss there, that little mini boss. And so on to section two. Now in section two, if you saw my last war, you saw how wrecked I got on path one. I had chosen path two. We sort of uh, pick and choose based on our opponents and the defenders and our roster. But normally I like path two. All right, so here we go. I saw it was a mutant, so I'm going in there with Corvus. And I was a little nervous because I'm not used to fighting Sunspot. I believe this is the first time I'm fighting him in an alliance war. But he didn't seem to be too difficult. His specials are easy to evade. And, of course, Corvus is just going to wreck. All right, so... As you see, we're just chopping him down, fire up that special two, and it's lights out for Sunspot. I love fighting with Sunspot. He is a lot of fun, but he is not suicide friendly. Only reason that I don't take him up to rank four right now. Uh, in fact, rank five. If I was not running suicides all the time, then yeah, I would take him up to rank five. All right, next up we have Thing, and he's awakened. So he's going to be a pain. Now, some people love fighting Thing. I'm not one of them, but I know how to fight him. So he's already activated that protection. All right, so I was kind of waiting it out a little bit. All right, so now, here's what you want to do when you're fighting Thing. You want to keep track of those rock stacks, okay? You see he's got 11. Now, I want to hit him three more times, if you'll let me get a hit in back off and bait out this special all right there you go now he has no rock stacks that's what you have to do with thing easier said than done sometimes especially when he gets very aggressive uh you saw how he just started smacking me i don't even know what was happening there all right but as you see here i went ahead and fired off my special two but that was actually a mistake but he didn't punish me there so what happened there is I didn't push him to 15. I should have waited for one more hit, then fired my special two. It would have pushed him to 15, then I could have baited out the special. But by doing that, I pushed him to 14. Had he fired off his special, it would not have erased all of the rock charges. He would have lost his power, and I would have been in a little bit more of a predicament. But I was able to hit him into his block, one time, got him to 15, bait out the special, so everything worked out okay. But that's just something you need to really be careful about. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, Iceman, Naughty Naughty, my uh, alliance mate. Uh, Corvus Rex Iceman. Okay, so I wasn't worried about this Iceman. 
but I am boosting up for the next fight. And we're going to talk about that when we get there. All right. But Corvus, he's immune to cold snap as long as he has uh, glaive charges active. And Iceman just really has nothing that's going to give Corvus any problems whatsoever. As long as you know how to evade Iceman's specials. If you watched that one war where I got caught by his special two, which was the first time in a very long time that's happened, uh, you'll see that that can happen. I actually prefer evading the special two. That special one catches me more often than the special two. All right, so Iceman is down. Now we have our mini boss, and it is Dermammu. Now, Gladiator Hulk is actually a Dermammu killer. He destroys Dermammu's. He's perfect. The reason, and if you remember I was mentioning this earlier, it's all about his face me. Well, the degen that you get from Dermammu activates face me. But what you're going to see here is some really poor strategy. And that's because you want to have his face me active. Now, you saw what I did there. I didn't dex it. Okay. Uh, now I dexed. Okay. So now you see the degen and you see the face me. That's what you want to do. While that face me is active, you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage, healing a lot of damage. But I kept fighting as if I was fighting with someone else where you want to avoid the dex. Okay, so I kept like that right there. I should not have done that. But my muscle memory, I'm so used to fighting Dermammu's with people other than Gladiator Hulk. So I kept doing that and it made the fight take even longer. And you may have noticed early on where uh, he was gaining a lot of power. That's the node. I hate power gain nodes because of that. I'm used to fighting very aggressively and power gain nodes. You cannot do that or else you'll push him to a special three. So I ended up having to hit him once, twice, back off. Once, twice, back off. Bait. I hate that. All right. And a lot of times I get messed up because of that. Now, you'll notice there that although his special two is unblockable, I was able to block part of it. Okay. You see this? I'm able to block it. You can block the second part of that special. This is true in most cases. There are a few exceptions where Kabam has reversed it. But what you do is you need to evade that first one. You've got to evade like that right there. You got to evade that first part. Then you can block the rest. And if I have face me active, which I keep evading uh, and not dexing, so I don't have face me active. But when I have face me active like that, I can block it and I will heal all the way up. When I first fought a Dermammu on a power gain node with Gladiator Hulk, I actually ate a special three while Face Me was active and healed almost all the way back up. All right, so boom, Dermammu is down. Very sloppy, it should not have been that close. My health should have been that low. But I just need more practice fighting Dermammu with Gladiator Hulk, because I was fighting him too much like I was fighting with someone else. All right, so let's find out how we did in this war. And as you can see, we were able to pull out the victory in this war. Uh, shout out to Omega Fight. Good war, guys. But that's going to do it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.